Hey, how's it going everyone? I'm Martin and welcome back. So, as of right now, I've been awake all night playing Destiny 2. I'm still on the grind. I cannot put this game down, honestly. Now, all night I've been collecting a bunch of bright engrams and a couple of legendary engrams. Unfortunately, I forgot to save my exotic engram, the one that you get for completing the campaign. And I got the exotic submachine gun Risk Runner, which I'm not going to lie, I'm a bit sad about. I wish I got something new because we've used the Risk Runner in the beta, so we already know what this weapon's about. I kind of wish I got one of the new ones, but that is what I got for my exotic engram. Anyway, I still have a bunch of other engrams here that I wanted to open on video and see what we can get from these items. So let's just have a quick preview of what we can get from these bright engrams. There's a bunch of exotic emotes, sparrows, ships, weapon ornaments, spawn, transmat effects, ghost shells, and mo gear mods. There's a ton of stuff that we can get from these. And so I thought I'd open them live so we can see what we get together for my first loot video. So let's head over to the Cryptarch first and decrypt these legendary engrams. I'm not expecting too much from these, but hopefully we get a weapon that actually is going to be useful to us. So let's decrypt this first one. And we got... Oh, we got the a, a helmet, Kerak Type 2. That actually looks really cool. And then we got the Kerak Type 2 gauntlet. So let's take a look at what these look like. These look pretty sick. Hold on. And it looks it looks like kind of like a knight's helmet. That's really sick. Okay, I really like that. Hopefully I can try and get a full set at some point. So let's head over to the Eververse now, where we can open our Bright Engrams. Now, you can also purchase Bright Engrams from the Eververse for silver, but don't worry, they do also drop randomly in-game from chests and such, so you don't have to purchase these. You can still get the loot from these Engrams just through playing the game. So let's begin opening these time with the first one and we got, yes, we got a weapon ornament on our first one, mine of its own, and that's for an exotic sniper rifle. We also got a shader there, we'll check that out afterwards. So onto the next one, we got a legendary ship, another shader and some gear mods. We'll look at all this loot at the end. For the next one, we got another ornament. This is symbiosis and this is for an exotic hand cannon or an exotic sidearm, I believe, sorry. But next one, we got a ghost shell and yet another shader as well as some more gear mods. Next one, another ghost shell and a gold tray shader. And for the last one, we got another ghost shell and some more shaders and gear mods. So gear mods seem to be standard for these as well as shaders. And it seems like the exotic ornaments or the exotic items in general are the ones that aren't guaranteed. So let's just take a closer look at what we got there. So let's take a look at the ghost shells first. We've got the hemisphere shell. This is... that's kind of neat. It looks very nice. I like the ghost shells a lot more in Destiny 2. A lot of them are a lot shinier and just a lot nicer. The designs are a lot cooler. And we have the grey light shell here. That one looks really cool actually. I'm going to equip that one. Then for our other items, so for modifications, just a bunch of gear mods, so for example, you can equip arc or void or solo damage to weapons and other abilities such as increasing armor's resilience, you can increase your recovery and such. That's basically what gear mods do. And then for the weapon ornaments, this is what we really want to this is what we really care about. So I got the symbiosis for I believe this is a sidearm. I'm not too sure. It looks like a sidearm, but it could be a hand cannon. Do excuse me if I'm wrong. I haven't got this weapon yet. But that looks really cool. I actually can't wait to get that. And then for the other weapon, we have a mind of its own. This is for a sniper rifle. I also cannot wait to get that one. Not too much of a fan of it. I don't like the sort of worn out look to it. But there it is, the mind of its own weapon ornament. Okay, so I know I'm an awful person for doing this, but I just went and bought 1,100 silver because I just wanted to open a few more bright engrams for this video here and try and get a few more items. I kind of want to try and get maybe a ship and maybe an exotic sparrow and maybe even one of the exotic emotes. So I can purchase five more bright engrams and let's see how many more. We have just enough for one more bright engram. So let's do that. We have six bright engrams. And that just gave us a transmat effect, okay, 
and another shader, Golden Trace, which we already have. But let's open those other bright engrams that I just purchased. So we got a Ship Shadow Dawn, as well as a Hake History Polish shader. Actually, I believe that one was a free bright engram I just picked up there. I didn't actually realise. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's just open those other ones that I just purchased. So we have five more bright engrams. Let's see what we can get. So the first one we got a Sparrow, Chrono Glass, as well as another shader. Then for the next one we got the another ghost or another transmat effect and an exotic emote, Salty, as well as the Vised Poison Simmer shader. Next engram we got uh, nothing too noteworthy there, just some basic items. We did get some bright dust. Then we got another shader, Arctic Pearl, as well as another Sparrow. Then for our last engram here, let's see, we got, ooh, we got the Comstock Load Exotic Weapon Ornament, and that's a Grenade Launcher, as well as yet another shader. So let's take a look at what we just got there. That's really cool, hold on. So let's take a look at this Weapon Ornament. This is going to be really cool. Wow, that looks really nice. I cannot wait to get my hands on this Grenade Launcher and see what it does. That is nice. It's really, it's got these detailed uh, ornaments or engravings along the weapon. That's nice. Then for shaders here, let's see what else we just got. We've got the Arctic Pearl shader. Let's see, this is going to be a sort of a lightish, purplish, pinkish colour. Then we've got Midnight Talons. Let's check this one out. This is another gold shader, I believe. Yeah, that one looks really nice as well. We also have a Sparrow, I almost forgot. We've got two Sparrows here, Chrono Glass. Let's equip this one, this one looks nice. Yeah, that looks really nice, I quite like that. Although I do wish I got an exotic one. And then the other one here is Fast Track. Actually, I believe, I don't think... No, no, yeah, we did get this from the Engram. I was confusing this for something else. And then we have two ships here, we have Imprint. Let's see what this is about. And yeah, that's quite nice. And this one here, Shadowed Dawn. That one's quite nice as well, actually. I do quite like that one. Uh, what else did we get? We have... Oh, the Exotic Emote, Salty. Yes, this is what we want. So there's a bunch of new Exotic Emotes in Destiny now that are sort of have uh, holographic effects. For example, one of them is you flipping a table. And this one is based off the... This one is actually based off the Salt Bay meme. So, yes, that is actually a thing in Destiny 2. So, there you have it for this video. I just wanted to make a quick video, opening up some engrams, and showing what kind of loot that you can get from the bright engrams and from the Eververse. Some pretty neat stuff in there. I'll have lots more videos on the way soon. I'm working on a bunch of guides right now. I've got a bunch of videos in the work. It is ridiculous. I've been recording pretty much everything since I started playing yesterday. It is ridiculous. I've got so much footage to go through, but I will have lots of videos on the way soon, so do stay tuned. It's just taken a long time to work through a lot of the stuff in-game and then also edit those videos. But yeah, as always, I do hope that you enjoyed the video. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll talk to you again very soon.